So please write down about the wiki map here. Yeah, it's a public contributed map. And Google Doc is called Cloud Computing Application, which support instant creation of documents, word processing, and can be accessed from anywhere in any time. Cloud computing application which supports instant creating of documents for word processing and can be accessed from anywhere in any time. So the speciality of cloud computing application is so you don't want to download. So here you can route that without downloading. You don't want to download and install. But app you need to download, actually for mobile phone, the app you need to download. But, but if you want to access it uh, from the browser, you don't want to download. Uh, without downloading, you can use. Mobile phone, docs whenever download. But if you are using computer and web browser, you don't want to download. It is instantly available. That is the advantage, unlike Word, unlike Excel, because you have to download pay for the license and then activate and then use. Yeah, the license is pay, download, install, use. If you have to open the document, open we can go to this docs.google.com and do that. Instantly, if you want to go there, you can type docs.google.com and it's instantly available for you. So that is the advantage. And here it is. So you can see the documents. You can create a blank document and right? then you can start typing immediately. No installation, no downloading, nothing required. So that's why we call cloud application. Cloud kill again, I download, install karan, put on That is Google Docs. Please write down about that. Google Sheets similar to Google Docs. Similar to Google Docs, but used users for spreadsheet applications such as Excel. Excel again, spreadsheet will become used there. And image is not google.com. It's a part of Google search, right? Google search again, what is that? It's the part of Google search. It's a part of Google search. Users for searching images. If you want to search any image, you can use Google search. Google images. Images dot Google dot com. Images dot Google dot com. Okay. Do you have any doubts up to now? So if you have any doubts, you can ask, right? Otherwise, please write down. Okay, we studied about Wikimapia, the map marking, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Images. Okay, I'll show you the Google image part now. And mail.google.com also, let's write down that also. That is useful, used to users to send. And receive 
emails. That is Gmail. So simply mail.google.com is Gmail. You can visit gmail.com also. Uh, so one more thing. So similar to Google image search, actually to do video search in, we can use video.google.com, right? That is for video search. For video searching, you can use video.google.com. Okay, let me know once you finish writing. All right, let's see these services. Image search, Google, especially used for searching images. And if you have any image, right, let's go to the images.google.com. So this can be used to reverse search also. That means you can search images, let's say nature. Nature wallpaper. Okay, let's see. I, I just want to do some search about my creations. I'm searching about, okay, the sun, Milanjana, photography. So it will give my creations or the photographs. Now I just want to see uh, about this photo. Is there any other? person using this photo. Actually, where are the places? I just want to see the places where this image is used. So I can right click on the image, right? And copy image link, copy image link. And I can go here and give the link and search. Then it will search and list me the other places where the image is used. You can see how many places that image is used. Okay, you can see the visually similar images. You can see it's Facebook, it's used. Pinterest, it is used. Pinterest, and then, okay, that's all. Right? Is there how to reverse search? You can go to the photo and give the link of the image okay. that you want to reverse search. Or you can upload image even. Right? Okay. You can upload an image too. Here, yeah, you can upload image too. That means if you have downloaded images, let's say this image, okay, let's say this image, right? This image, this is also taken by me. And if you have downloaded the image, Or you can right click and get the link. That is also another thing. Right click, copy link images. Or if you have downloaded the link, download correctly. So let's download the image. M.jpg. I have downloaded. Now I can go to the search, upload the image, browse the file. And I can go to the page. And here, this is the image. I can double click and open it. Then it will search from the image. If you think that this image is used by someone, so you can reverse search. You can see SL actors, SL actors, SL actors, the same SL actors page. Use this for several times. And is there anyone, anyone else? Yes, talent, Michelle, the era, Shilon, Yuji, Moism. Okay, you can see. Likewise, you can reverse search and find the image and the occurrences where it is used, or maybe. You can find the same. So let's say you got a small image, nature, and you got a small image, or see Giria. You got a small image. See Giri, right? See Giri, you got a small image, and you want to find out the large images. Right? Let's say you, you got very small image, and you want to find out large images. Then you can right click and uh, copy the link and search it. Again, give the link and search it. And then you can find, so if there are any other images of this here, you can click the all sizes 
all sizes. And if there are, yes, now you can see the similar image. Similar image, that similar image, all the sizes. It's in many places, right? It's in many places. You can see it's like. It's same photo, but the size is different. Yeah, size may be different. Some locations, different sizes like that. Okay, that is how image search is used. Right, then actually I wanted to discuss some more for an certain example. So we discuss about uh, Gmail and next we have to discuss about these websites. Please take a snapshot, screenshot of this. And next day I'll discuss about these websites and also about the search engines. Okay, next day I'll discuss about these websites and search engines. Okay. Uh, Then good night. See you all next week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.